High Florida Outdoor Adventures. Hope you're well. Keep adventuring. watching right now thank you for taking the time to watch this video I appreciate all of you being here if you're new to the channel please uh, click subscribe this video is completely out of sequence to my Canary Island Spain motorcycle adventure tour it's actually the last video of the series but I felt it to be important to release now because of the coronavirus situation in Europe people uh, trying to get out of Europe and, and go back to their home country, in my case, back to the United States, after the United States government closed its uh, air travel from Europe. So I decided to uh, release a video first before the rest of the motorcycle adventure videos, Gran Canary, Tenerife, La Gomera, Lanzarote, and Fuerteventura. I hope uh, you enjoy the video. I hope uh, you get some information and possibly you can stick around in the future and watch the rest of the series as I release them. Thanks for watching and stay safe out there. We run to the airport for our flight tomorrow if we do indeed have a flight. The, uh, the entire country of Spain is on lockdown. Just uh, emergencies only to, uh, to the supermarket or et cetera, et cetera. So let's see the situation at the airport. Hopefully, hopefully we can talk to somebody at Iberia to confirm that we do have a, a flight out. I cannot check in online. And everything, all the websites are almost down or takes forever to load. I guess there's huge, huge web traffic with people trying to get out of the country or, or come in. It's not really smart to be out right now, but it's the only way to find out because there's no way to communicate with the airlines or the customer service. This is Tenerife North Airport, TFN. Tienes su teléfono, baby? No, porque si no puedo aparcar y tú, tú te vas y preguntas y me quedo con la moto, no sé. It's pretty empty. Oh no, there's cars here. Ok, si se voy por el otro lado. A ver si puedo meterme ahora. Sí, 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 sí. Me voy a poner aquí ahora. My buddy just uh, just went inside the airport and uh, she checked on our flight for tomorrow. And is it a go or no? <laughs> yes, it's a go. <laughs> that means yes in Argentinian. So yeah, super excited. Anything could change from minute to minute, day to day. But so far, the airport's pretty empty. And uh, and both flights from here, <laughs> from here to uh, Tenerife North to Madrid is on and then Madrid to Miami, they said it's still gonna go out, so. Extremely fortunate that, uh, that the state of emergency for Spain happened on our last day because uh, it would have been awful to be here and not see anything, not go any, uh, to any public attraction, uh, the volcano, all the beaches would have been closed, restaurants. So yeah, so, so far, Luck has been on our side. Cheers. Fun one, Yaffa. Okay, we're here, La Laguna Gran Hotel, San Cristobal de la Laguna, last night, last night President Pedro Sanchez of Spain declared a state of emergency in all of Spain, including the Canary Islands obviously, where everything is closed except for, <laughs> everything is closed except for Peluquerias, barbershops, beauty salons, um, supermarkets, 
Pharmacies. Pharmacies, gas stations are open, but everything else is closed. Restaurants, everything has to be to go. We're not allowed on the street, but it's irresistible to go check on Tatanka. So we're going to do that now. And uh, Make sure she didn't get the coronavirus. Yeah, make sure Tatanka's healthy and prepare her for her temporary stay here in Tenerife. Let's let the, uh, my friends on YouTube see Tatanka first. Yeah. It's time to put Tatanka away for hibernation until the next adventure. Hopefully we could go to Italy on the next trip. France, Italy, maybe Germany. Tatanka, I'm gonna put you inside there. It's nice and protected from the inclement weather. You're gonna be fine. Lorenzo's gonna take good care of you, just like Paolo, just like Ruben did. You just stay, hang tight and I'll be back for you. You don't worry about a thing. Have plenty of jamón. Hopefully a nice female BMW F800 will come and park next to you. Okay, <laughs> we're good. <laughs> in a while we bump into these little police cars telling everybody to uh, stay inside hopefully we don't get stopped this is day one of the closure of all of Spain but I'll try to keep you guys updated I'll try to film as much as possible if I see something interesting the uh, closures I can't even imagine how it must be in Italy especially the north and uh, in Madrid. I do not want to have to stay in Madrid if something happens inside of an airport. I'd rather have a nice hotel and just wait it out. But we'll see. We'll see what Destiny has planned. Okay, so far so good. Seems like we're gonna get on board. Crossing our fingers. And maybe we'll have the whole row of seats on the plane for ourselves. We have our boarding passes. It's not very busy at the airport. It looks like we're gonna make it back home. Next stop, Madrid. That's where the real test is uh, gonna be. Madrid is zone zero for the coronavirus and the quarantine. So hopefully we don't have any drama at the airport. In Barajas, we get our connecting flight without any, any problems and then head to Miami. That red sound and that red X wasn't too uh, nice to see, but we're boarding. Casi say A F. Separating the, the groups of people in, in the rows of, uh, of the plane to uh, minimize the chance of infection. The plane is almost empty, so I think that's a great idea. As long as they don't separate my bebe. Gracias por volar con Iberia Express. 
ladies and gentlemen, the captain and crew would like to welcome you aboard the Siberia Express flight. We would also like to extend a special welcome to our Club Express, Iberia Plus, and One World passengers. Please check that your seatbelt is fastened, your hand luggage is properly stowed, your electronic devices are unplugged, the armrests are lowered, and your table is folded away. We remind you, for your safety, to follow all signals and crew instructions. Thank you for flying with Iberia Express. to Madrid Barajas Airport. We have a boarding pass for Miami. Everything is looking good as far as us getting home. The airport is pretty pretty dead. I have been here a couple times before and I've never seen it this slow. All right let's grab some lunch and hopefully our luck continues. Thanks for watching everyone. of the airport and about four gates over there which I think are going to New York, Miami, US destinations. There's a separation point. So it's running smooth though, it's only us. The rest of the airport is empty. that second barrier there, that second checkpoint, right behind me. Piece of cake. No temperature checks, no nothing. Glad to get to that. Board. Everything is looking really good. We're going to make it to Miami, guys. We thought this would not be possible. I was already looking for uh, rental properties for a month in Tenerife. So far, luck continues to be on our side. We're on our way to Miami. Arrival around 9, 10 p.m. But uh, that's fine because we're going to be in, uh, in the United States and uh, we'll be home. On board they don't want us to record here but um there's a traveler health declaration that's asking us how many countries we've been to in the last 14 days and uh, contact with infected people etc temperatures so we have to fill that out now but all is good
Miami International. We made it. It was actually a pleasurable ride. Less people. The, the wait for the uh, immigration was very little. Uh, they just did a little health uh, screening with a form before we got uh, over to passport control. Piece of cake. We made it. Big thanks to my buddy here. You know who you are, Coors Light, for guiding in the Iberia flight. All right, see you guys in the next video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Hit the like button. Thank you.